It's 2023 and add-ons are coming out all the time for Blender. It's hard to keep up, so I've gone ahead and put together a list for you. Now I've been running an add-on list for years, so what I'm going to do is cover all the new additions to this list up front. For those of you that have already seen the old videos, and there is a healthy mixture of free and paid add-ons, but let's dive in. My dynamic VFX pack is now on sale at Blender Market, and this has completely customizable VFX assets that you can drag and drop right into your viewport, both EV and Cycles compatible. If you're interested, you can also go check out a free sample pack. Currently, I'm running a sale. See the description for more details. Now, Keen Tools has released GeoTracker, which allows you to track various elements in your video scenes with geometry. It's a very cool add-on that adds a lot of power to the tracking features of Blender if you're into visual effects and implementation. Kitbash has released Cargo, and you can download this for free. And what it will do is put every kit, every model, and every material you have in that asset browser for you to quickly insert into your scenes. This is great if you're really into kit bashing scenes. They have a lot of great model packs and also some free elements as well. Now, Speedflow has been around for a while, but keeps getting updates. And if you check this out, it basically gives you just a bunch of tools to speed up your workflow in Blender, hence the name. Definitely recommend checking this out if you're an experienced Blender user and looking to optimize your flow. Bygen is an amazing tool by Curtis Holt, which has a bunch of crazy cool generative modeling presets, which you can apply to your models. I can't believe this one is free, but definitely check it out. The asset creation tool is amazing for productivity. It offers a bunch of time-saving options for UVs, origins, renaming, and more common tedious tasks. Now this is more of an asset pack than it is an add-on, but CG Matters Curvify is an incredible set of tools where you just use a bunch of curves to just draw all of these amazing creations. Definitely recommend checking this one out. Curve Machine recently had an update. Now the default curve tools are okay in Blender, but this tool set gives you a lot more control over your curve editing, making them a lot easier to work with. Recently added to Blender, this new Story Pencil add-on streamlines the flow of storyboarding in Grease Pencil. Machine Tools adds a lot of handy features with a robust Pi menu system, tools for modeling, UV layouts, and more. Botanic now has a free intro version before the paid version. This is the go-to add-on for adding nature assets to your scene, and they have some other great add-ons for cars, material, and water, which also now include intro versions. F2 is a free add-on included with Blender, and what this allows you to do is fill in an entire polygon face by clicking one corner point, and this just makes it much quicker to kind of fill in edge loops when doing topology. Bool tool makes it easy to quickly apply Boolean modifiers, which generally requires a lot of clicks, points, and targets. Now, MemSaver comes from Polygonic, which as you probably know, has a lot of big products on Blender Market. And what this one does is actually help solve some of your memory issues, and they just recently updated it to support animation as well. What it does is try and optimize your scene so that it doesn't use as much VRAM you can see on the chart here. Definitely recommend checking this out, especially if you're on a limited machine or if you're doing larger scale scenes. Random Flow is the coolest Greeble add-on that I've seen, makes it really easy and intuitive to add detailed Greeble to any of your surfaces. Really great for sci-fi or futuristic renders. This add-on is called Nature Clicker, and it allows you to select a ground surface and select your objects and just start clicking to paint around on there so that you can build nature scenes quite quickly. I don't personally use this add-on, but I just love the look of it and how simple it is to use. I've mentioned this on the channel before, but Blender OSM OpenStreetMap and Terrain for Blender makes it so that you can import street map data and automatically generate terrain and city maps based off of that data. Now, Bagapai is a big add-on kind of split into two sections. On one sense, it lets you create things and transform things like your geometry nodes into modifiers so that you can share those with others. But on the other hand, you also get access to this community and all their assets, which have tons of great tools that could all be add-ons on their own. Cableator takes the tedious process of kind of modifying and creating cables and adds all of this into an easy to create tool, making it easy to add cable to your mechanical creations. Curtis Holt offers two awesome free add-ons, one being the Bygen and now Holt tools as well which offers a couple categories of operations separated into panels and some panels encompassing tools that can really kind of help with your workflow in Blender, including optimizing meshes and cleaning up the blend file and much more. Check out the documentation and his tutorials on his channel for more information. Now this add-on, the Wiggle add-on, does exactly what you would expect it to do. It adds Wiggle to your objects, but it gives you a lot of control with this full geometry node setup. 
And I just love how much time this can save on background assets or when you're trying to do things like a boat bobbing in the water, for example. Now, Simple Tabs is an awesome add-on. So if you're like me and you're on lists like this all the time, grabbing and installing add-ons, you may notice that your side panel gets incredibly cluttered. And what this does is make it so that you can combine some of those and put it into one panel and thus have a bit more organization over your interface here. I bet you can guess what human generator does just from the title, but in case you didn't get it, it lets you generate human models with various hairstyles, body types, and other elements of control. Simply Cloth aims to simplify the clothing process in Blender, which can be notoriously difficult by introducing a bunch of simple to use controls and presets that make it easier to add clothing to your models. Simple Bake for Blender is an amazing tool that lets you just bake PBRs and other textures so that you can export this into other engines quickly. Polyhaven Asset Browser gives you access to a ton of models and other assets you can quickly drag and drop into your scene, nature, architectural, industrial, and more. Quad Remesher is quite frankly the best option for remeshing in quad topology. It has quite a bit of features to guide the topology as well too. Brush Manager adds a panel to easily access custom brushes similar to the Asset Browser when sculpting. It comes with a bunch of other options to import, append, and more, making it a little bit more user-friendly than the native package. Graph Tools is a premium package of tools to help with cleaning graphs, adjusting, looping, delaying, and more. I think one of my favorite features is this option here to right-click and either insert keyframes for all or single on all selected objects, which is an incredible feature. Bone Dynamics Pro adds physics to your bones, and I've been using this extensively on my characters in my short film to add a little secondary motion without having to tweak every single little bone, so it's been a major time saver for me. UV Pack Master. This tool lives up to its name. It truly master packs your UVs while also adding a host of more advanced options such as tiling, UV stacking, and more. This one's a little bit more pricey, but it's well worth the price point. Animation Layers is an alternative to the NLA editor blending modes, which have a history of being a bit finicky. Animation Layers does the same, but it works just as you'd expect it to. Now, FC Swapper is one of the less popular options on this list, which is a shame because it's very cool. It lets you add swap shapes here, and then you can then swap between those shapes to animate quickly on your characters. Curved to Mesh UV is a node that you would expect to already be in geometry nodes, but it's not. What this does is add a node directly into geometry nodes so that you can quickly UV unwrap your curves made within geometry nodes. Not an add-on, but with Poly is a great website targeting Blender users that allows you to use AI to generate these PBR textures quickly. Ant Landscape will generate planets and landscapes based on noise types. They're not very detailed, but they're great for background elements. Extra Objects is included within Blender, and this adds a bunch of extra objects to the Add menu. There's one for Mesh and one for Curves, and I really like the Wall Creation add-on. Polygon has an easy add-on to import their textures and assets, some of which are played, but they also have free assets as well that can be imported through this add-on. Also packaged in Blender is Node Wrangler, which gives you shortcuts to make using nodes easier. For example, pressing Ctrl T on an image will give you a full image mapping setup. There's much more, which you can view in the documentation. Rigify allows you to position preset armatures onto your character and then automatically attach and create controls. Most people don't know this, but you can also generate your own rigs from pieces using this add-on, which I've done in some of my tutorials. Rococo provides an amazing add-on primarily intended to work with their motion capture library and live streaming assets, but it's honestly the best retargeting tool I've used in Blender as well. You just click your first armature, the second one, build bone list, and then it will connect the two when you click retarget. Checkpoint is an add-on that just went free that allows you to save various checkpoints along your timeline and quick load those scenes. If you find yourself needing to save out lots of versions or revert, this is a great tool for that. Stop Mo is a free add-on by me that allows you to apply stop motion effects to your character animations with one click and adds a lot of controls up here. For simulation, I have a couple recommendations, including RDB Labs, Chaos, and Flip Fluids. RDB Labs is an awesome simulation add-on, making it easier to produce some pretty wild results in Blender. Chaos makes it easy to add realistic explosions to your scene, and Flip Fluids gives some great fluid presets to speed up sims. The Nebula Generator, well, the title kind of explains it all. It generates nebulas, but with amazing results for both Eevee and Cycles. Now this is the most asked about add-on in my videos, but no preview, I love it. It gives you a little preview thumbnail of what your texture is during the pipeline of shading. This is extremely useful for creating generative content and material building as it helps visualize what you're creating. 
Ducky's Real-Time Materials is a cool texture pack that adds real-time rendering materials under the Add menu for quick access. He's constantly adding new materials as well and offering support. HardOps is the most popular tool in Blender, and this tool adds an incredible array of hard surface modeling tools, and it's become an industry standard in the game industry. Retapa Flow offers a series of tools for making Retapa... Retapology... Retapologizing. Much less tedious with tools that almost work like magic. One of the newest ones on this list is Procedural Crowds, which is an add-on that lets you create crowd simulations. Real Cloud lets you convert objects and other elements to various realistic clouds and concludes a VDB cloud library as well, allowing you to create amazing cloud generations in your scenes. OCD is an awesome add-on that allows you to add procedural damage to any object. And as you can see here, it gives it a very nice kind of stylized sculpted look. Image scattering has two amazing features. One, it helps scatter your images. If you don't know what that means, it takes tileable textures and helps randomize it to prevent a repeatable pattern from occurring. It also has an option to use triplanar projection mapping, which allows you to project the texture onto an object from three different angles. This can bypass UV unwrapping and make texturing much simpler for beginners. Conform object. This conforms objects to the shape of a surface, and in my experiments, this yielded better results than the shrink wrap modifier. 3D Hairbrush beefs up the particle system, adding loads of professional features. Easy Smear is an add-on that makes it easier to smear objects for stylized animations. Animators know that grabbing things is hard when animating, and this add-on called Grab It makes it much less complicated process. TrueVFX has multiple products all geared around hyper-realistic explosions, magic effects, skies, and more. Check out their collection on Blender Market. They have a lot of VDB options, making them easy to import. Destructo streamlines the fracturing process while adding a few extra tools like this cool chipper effect. PBR Hook is a tool that lets you point to file paths and quickly import PBR setups, similar to Node Wrangler, but with a few extra advanced features for more control, specifically being able to point to specific folders. Collider Tools is a tool designed to help create quick collision objects around a selected mesh. This is ideal for translating content into game engines as an example. Particle Library is an awesome new incredible collection of common preset particle systems. In particular, I really like the birds preset. Pro Atmo generates realistic sky textures, and these will render faster and less noisier than HDRIs while yielding similarly results visually. I like the fact that it has cloud shadows, which can help add realism to a scene and break up the lighting. Volumetric Cloud Generating. Well, the name kind of explains what it is, but here's a few examples of how well it generates clouds. The Angle tool is just fun to play with. It makes adding angle geometry super easy and intuitive. If you haven't already seen Bad Normal's promo for his new add-on, Any Trees, check it out. It's an amazing promo and it's an awesome tool. I'm actually using this in my short film right now. It allows you to create trees from any shape or to generate them randomly. And it gives you a ton of control, gives you options for animation and more. Definitely recommend this add-on. Now, Clean Panels is a lot like the free add-on I mentioned earlier, Simple Panels. However, this one has a lot more features allowing you to customize a lot more. It has pie menus, toggleable filters, and gives you a ton of control within the preferences to really organize your interface. 